Hi, Sarah Banis here, Spectrum Weavers. I am going to show you today how to customize these messy bun images um, so that you can put whatever you want in the hair tie and in the glasses. It's just a, it's a fun trend. So let's go ahead and clear ourselves some room. Get rid of these. So like this video if this is something that's helpful to you, but also subscribe to my channel. Uh, you'll get a notification when all the new videos come out, probably twice a week or so. Just a lot of fun ways that you can use your silhouette to make neat things, but also ways to design for yourself. So actually let's move this over here. need this. So what you're going to need is you're going to need a good SVG set uh, with separate layers for the glasses and for the bow. Um, this right here is a really good set. It includes all of this. Uh, I'll link that in the description. Highly recommend it. I only spent a couple of dollars on it. It includes a commercial use license so you can use it on items that you make to sell. Um, just it's definitely worth it. I'll link it in the description. So what we're going to need for this one is this. And this, this is kind of neat. So this includes two layers. So it's kind of hard to see because it's on the white. But do you see that secondary layer? So if you wanted to, say you wanted to do that in like brown hair and then do that in like um maybe like a darker, oops, that wasn't right. Maybe like a darker highlight or low light. Then you would just cut both in the two different colors of vinyl and you would layer that. So we're not gonna do that for this though. We don't need that second layer. Just a neat thing that's included. So what we do need is we need this and we need this. This is such a simple design technique, but it's just super fun. There. And then once you have everything where you want it, you're going to want to move the second layer. So move that off to the side. Uh, let me actually, okay. So move that off to the side, then select both of these and make compound path. Oops. So that's okay. So uh, select both of these and group them. Okay, and then oops, move that to the back. Okay, and then take this and put these where they belong. Put this where it belongs. Okay, and then grab your back layer and move that out of the way. And then you want to select both of these and make that a compound path that'll make it a single layer. So like I said, I will link this SVG set in the description, but I'm also going to link this. So this is, it's just super pretty. I found it the other day and I had no idea what I was going to use it on, but I had to buy it because it was so pretty. So it's just a really pretty rose pattern. Um, and I'll link that in the description also, because I think you need it also. So you're going to want to put this where you want it. Now move that to the back, right click and then send to back. And that'll help you um, kind of find the right place that is what you want to slice out. So I like that just like that. Um, oh, and you know what? Actually, I need a duplicate of this also. So I'll need two of that. So now with that, with the pink in the back, select both and then go to your modify panel 
Oops. That is not the modify panel. Select both and then on the right hand side, go to your modify panel, which is right here, and then click crop. Okay, and then I'll give you this and then select all of that. And then right click, make compound path that makes it a single layer. And for this, you're going to want to make that white. And try to find that again and then right click bring to front and it's really that simple so oops. that's it and that is all there is to it. It is that easy. So now you would just cut your three layers. You would cut your white, cut your, make that gray so it's a little easier to see. So you cut your white, cut your pink, cut your black, layer the three, and that's all there is to it. So super duper easy. Another really neat thing that you can do with this is you can, and so let me just say first that I've seen so many people do things like, like say you're a Jeep grill. I've seen people put um, a Jeep grill in the sunglasses. Super cute, right? Uh, if you're a dog person, dog prints up the sunglasses and up the bow. Um, but other neat things that you can do with it is if you do print projects at all or sublimation, anything like that, you can also do things like, you know, say your kid plays baseball, take a picture of your kid, upload the picture to Silhouette Studio, and then take this, take the pink part of the glasses and the pink part of the bow and slice that out. Well, I guess not the not the bow for this, but just the glasses. But slice that picture of your kid playing baseball out of the pink part of the glasses and then layer that on top and then put that all together to make it one single image. And then you can print that on, you know, if you do sublimation or, you know, if you don't, you can print it on a card or anything like that, or, you know, maybe printable heat transfer material and put it on a shirt. And then you can have, you know, the image of the mom bun with your kid's picture in the glasses. Just super cute. Um, there's an awful lot you can do with it. So, and then this, so this set right here, this is also an SVG where it's separate layers. Uh, I'll link that in the description also. This is a good camo set, good camo, uh, good camo SVG set. Uh, I'll link that in the description. So, and then the, so this one, oops. This one I just made myself. All I did is I took, um, let's get this out of the way. I just took a bunch of rectangles and oops. I just took a bunch of rectangles and turned it into that. So that was super easy too. Same same exact thing though. Um, I mean, and that's about it. All right, if you have any questions at all, feel free to ask them either in the uh, either in the notes here on YouTube or come join us on Facebook. I'll link my Cricut and Silhouette group. It's about 185,000 members, super friendly, super helpful, super knowledgeable. We do uh, tutorials there regularly. I'll link that in the description. Come join us there. And if you have any questions, ask me directly. We'd love to have you. Um, so I'll link the group. I'll link the uh, this SVG set. Highly recommended. It's just a really great set. And if you're looking for one with the kid image also with the two buns, that super cute. Um, also with the glasses and the bows, this designer actually has a set of those also. So if you click on the link uh, for this SVG in the description and then click on the designer's name, it'll bring you to her shop. And she's got a really cute image with the kid with the kid image also, um, or a design set with a kid image. So I'll link that and I'll link this in the, the this SVG set in the description. I'll link our Facebook group in the description. Come join us. Uh, like this video. Subscribe now so you get the notifications. Um, and I mean, really, that's about it. I'll link this camo set and also the rose set. Fantastic, both of them. I'll link both of those in the description also. But I mean, that's about it. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Have a good day. Bye.